Okay, so now we go onto the shop floor to do a simulation on the Gemba of assembling a radiator. It's really fascinating because here we're able to see the difference between value and non-value, all the ways to transportation, motion, how long each operation takes. For instance, just putting in the bolts. It took a long time. It was about 18 seconds. How do we reduce that? Now look at this magic here, gravity. The conveyor system goes up, you release it, it gravity is free, it goes back. Such a magical system. Notice how the tool is overhead to a counterbalance. They just let go of it, but they still have to walk back and forth. They dip the radiator tube in soapy water so it slips on easily. The clamp tool is in the correct position. Now, this is the current simulation. This is can this can be improved dramatically, and we go through simulation after simulation, improving and removing the muda, the waste, and seeing it. It's so clear when you do it this way. All of a sudden, you realize that most of what we do is waste. Toyota identifies that 65% of what they do is wasted picking up tools, retrieving parts, uh, managing inventory, and things of this nature. So this is a fantastic simulation. The next step is we go back to the classroom, we analyze the numbers, we ask ourselves how could we improve it, and then we go back to the shop floor. So we go into the classroom real quick to analyze the numbers and say, hey, how can we improve? Now let's go back out on the Gemba and solve some problems. Now they notice that here you're bending over, you're straining, that's not very comfortable. We start to identify all the different problems. One of the interesting things they said was Toyota always solves problems on the shop floor, not in the conference room. They notice that this pin holder is too small, it takes too much concentration. Then they ask the question, why are we going back and forth to get both radiator hoses? Why can't we grab them both at the same time? Because the container that we're dipping them into, the soap container, is too small. We increase the size of that, we grab both hoses, dip them simultaneously, as they go back over. Then as our production changes, goes from 100 parts a day to 500 or from 500 to 100, we have a flexible line. We can break it down and shrink it down so we're not traveling as much. In a larger production line where we have greater capacity or greater needs, we might need a little more spread out so we can put more people in each station. But now we need less people so we make it much more compact. We identify other problems that the radiators are down low and they should really be raised up. But because we have a flexible line, we can move things around. You see we're moving the parts along here so that we can actually do a much better job of configuring things. Everything's velcroed onto the side, the tool holders, the nut and bolt holders so we can easily move those around. Here we're lifting the radiator station on top of another radiator station and pulling the radiators out and putting them up on top so now nobody's bending over anymore. We want to make things simple for the operator. We don't want them to struggle or strain because that will ultimately decrease quality and increase fatigue. So we're learning all these incredible concepts. Here are these platforms were on the side. Let's put them on a cart, correctly positioned, then put them into place and then when we go to do that operation it's very simple and very easy. These are all the subtleties and nuances and details that Toyota pays attention to. And the big thing, using your head, not your wallet, without spending much money. And here's a great example. They want to make sure the clamp is a certain offset from the edge of the hose. And they use one tool to do it, but now they use the very tool they used to put on the clamp that has the measuring built into it. This is a great Kaizen or process improvement.